Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to DP Animation. And today's tutorial is going to be based on an ident I did a while ago. So, this is what we are going to do. We are going to do this first. So, it's in two parts actually. So, this is the one we are going to create first. Then do the second one later on. Alright, so let's not waste time. Let me pull up C4D. So for starters, let's create the star, which is the beginning intro whereby the star comes in. Alright, so let's create a star spline with an inner radius of 100 and then an outer of something like 250. 250, then a five point since it's a star. All right, so we have this. All right, let me rotate it a bit so that we see the star well. All right, so we have this. Now let's duplicate it by holding the command key, then click in and drag it. Now let's bring one forward a bit. Duplicate the second one again, hold the command key, then click and drag. All right, then pull one, the third one to in front, okay? Then give it an inner radius of something like one, then an outer of something like 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 is okay, all right? Let me push it in a bit, okay? So we have this. So now the next thing is to select the left nerve. So let's go and select the left nerve. So this, then select all the spline, star spline, then drop them inside the left nerves. So you have something like this, okay? But when you look at the star, you see that the edges are kind of beveled in a way or rounded in a way. That's not what we want. We want sharp candles, all right? So we come to the left, then on mesh subdivision U, Let's give it something like 11. Then subdivision V, something like two would do. Then an isopalm subdivision U, let's give it 11. So we have something like this. You see that we now we have sharp corners. Okay. So now we have sharp corners. You see that? So we have this as our first star. Okay. All right, so let's duplicate a star here, okay? Let's du duplicate this star, then bring it down. Now let's go for a extrude nerve, then place the star in, so that we extrude the one at the bottom there, okay? So let me see, the star, let's give it an inner radius of something like 110, 110, then an outer of 274 or so, 274 or so, okay? So now we have this as our star, okay? So this will be the base of the star. So let's name it base, base, all right? So let me push it in a bit. Then the extrusion depth. Let me give it something like, uh, something like 40. I think it, this is okay. So we have this. Faster, all right. Now, when you look here, when you look here, you see that there are rings of stars coming in, okay? Rings of stars coming in. So that's what we are going to create, okay? All right, so now let's duplicate the same star, hold the command key, then click and drag to duplicate it, all right? Now, let's give it an inner of something like 115, 115, then an outer of 282 or so, let me, 282, okay? So that it will be bigger than the ones extruding the star a bit. Okay, so 
Now go and select the sweep nap. Select the sweep nap, then drop the star in. Then go and select a rectangular spline. Okay. Then give it a width of something like 5. Then a height of 10. Okay. Then drop it also inside the sweep nap. All right, so you have something like this, a ring around the sweep nap. Okay, so now let's move the star away a bit and see. Okay, so this is what we have. You see that? So you have this. If it's too thin, just come and increase the width of the star to something like, let me see, eight. I think eight is okay. Then the height, let me go something like 12. It's okay. All right. So here we are going to use the star to animate. Okay. So let me come to the end here. So let's see. Something like, let me see, 50, 60 frame. All right. Let me use the coordinates. Let me set a key. An ending key, that's an ending key. They move the timeline backwards. They move the star out in front of us. So we have something like this. Okay. So something like somewhere here is okay. Then set a key. So we have something like this. You see that? As simple as that. If the movement is not too smooth for you, you can go to the graph editor. Okay, you come to the graph editor, F curves, all right, then select the star, see the curves here, then you smoothen it by straightening the line, see you straighten the line, so that it, the movement will be smoother, okay, so this is okay. So once you are done with this, the rest, you just have to duplicate this one, the sweep nerve. Okay, you duplicate, you select the star, then change the movement a bit. Okay, so whilst this one is coming in, the other one is also coming in. You see that? Once this one is coming in, the other one is also coming in. So just like that. So basically, that's how I set up this animation in the beginning, okay? When you look at it very well, you see that one of the sweep nerves height is quite long. Okay, so that one, what I did was I just duplicated one of the sweep nerves, okay? Then the rectangle height, I increased it to something like, let's say, 400, okay? So that it to be longer, all right? So just like this. So you have something like this. Let me move the timeline a bit away. So you have something like this, okay? Something like this. You see that? As simple as that. So basically, this is how I set it up. I move the star a bit far away before having this, okay? I move it a bit far away. So rather, okay, let's set it this way so that this will come in first. The big one will come in first. So that this one will follow. Okay, let's just switch the position of the timeline. So you have something like this. Okay, now let's work on, when you watch here, you see that once the star is coming and the camera is coming closer to the star, the star was opening here. Let me take the grid off first. What I did was I made the star 
editable. Okay, hit C to make it editable so that you select the faces separately. You see, so this is different from this. So by doing this, you have different different faces to choose from. Okay, so you select the polygonal surface too, you click on it, then the face that you want to select, to if it's this face, you select the face, then you tear it apart, okay? Let's see, if this is the face that I want, let me clear this one so that I'll have only the front one, okay? So I'll have something like this. So what I did was, I deleted the faces that I don't want, so that it will be left with the face that I want. So if it's this face that I don't want, I'll just select it, then clear it. You see this? Select it, then clear it, just like that. So that I'll be left with the face that I want, all right? So once I'm left with this particular face, I use the assets to the move the axis to the end point of that particular face so that I can easily rotate or move it on a pivotal point, okay? So once I have this, I will just have to rotate it. So let's see, rotation, you see this? So once it's coming in, the camera is coming in, it was opening, okay? All right, so basically that's how I set this up. You see that? Let me off this, think, on this one. So we have this, you see, you see? So once it's coming in, once it's coming in, it was opening. So you see, I break it all apart. So that I have different, different faces. Okay. Then rotate them separately to open up. Okay. This is just a, a logo breakdown. Okay. So whatever question you have, you can ask and I'll be happy to answer it. Or if you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on it too, let me know. All right? See you on the second part.